Well, now to a developing story that has garnered national attention. There is new clarity this morning from the Texas Supreme Court regarding the Texas abortion law. It all centers around a Dallas woman who said this week that she was leaving the state to get an abortion rather than waiting to see if the court would allow it. Kennedy is here following the story for us. So, Kennedy, what is the latest? Hey, good morning, Madison. At nearly 21 weeks pregnant, Kate Cox was running out of time to make a decision on whether or not to terminate her pregnancy. Doctors told her because of a rare genetic defect called trisomy 18, her baby could be stillborn and that carrying the baby to term could impact her health. The Texas Supreme Court has released new clarity regarding the Texas abortion law. The justices wrote, in their opinion, no woman needs Needs a court order to have an abortion in the state of Texas. They also wrote that they are not blocking abortions as long as the situation meets the standard in the law, which is when there are life threatening conditions for the woman or serious risk of impairment. Now, the court wrote the exception is predicate on predicate on doctors acting within the zone of reasonable medical judgment, which is what doctors do every day. Dr. Carson did not assert that Ms. Cox has a life threatening physical condition or that in Dr. Carson's reasonable medical judgment and abortion is necessary. It goes on to say the statute does not require eminence or to wait until the mother is within an inch of death. Cox's attorney now explaining why her client has left the state to receive an abortion. It's been all weekend that Kate has been waiting. Um, she and I have been in content, constant contact. She spent most of the weekend in bed. I mean, think about how you would feel in that situation. Yes, very sad situation for Kate. Now, Madison, at this time, we do not know what the state Cox went to or when she will come back to Texas. Yeah, certainly a case that we're all going to be following closely. Kennedy, thank you.